Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jay back again with another video. In this video, I'll be sharing my top 10 tips to stay productive all day during your A-levels slash GCSEs. I know exams are around the corner. Let's be realistic. You know, everybody wants to be as productive as possible. So I was like, you know what? Let's just drop a video on how to be productive. So do actually follow these tips. And I do actually believe that if you do follow these tips to the core, you will get the results. You'll be more productive throughout the day. And I do hope that you actually achieve your goals at the end of this. Yup, you guessed it. My number one tip for a productive day is to wake up early. Probably the most underutilized tip by most sixth form students nowadays, but it's nevertheless the most important. You definitely don't have to be a morning person to do this, and you definitely don't have to start revising first thing in the morning as soon as you wake up. I personally wake up at 5 a.m., make a quick, healthy breakfast, and begin to plan my day to ease myself into the early hours. Talking about planning, planning is essential, and I do recommend you do this if you want to increase your productivity by 10 to 15% every day. Like I said before, you don't have to revise first thing in the morning. I personally use this extra time gained by waking up early to do monotonous things like making notes or even cleaning my room, which does happen by the way. If you do decide to do some work in the morning, you'll find that things are done much more quickly and efficiently. This is because your brain is working at its optimum in the morning for some people. If you're someone who finds it hard to get out of bed, try to imagine somebody else competing for that same university spot. They might have a social or economic advantage over you, so you definitely want to do anything you can to outcompete them. Basically by sleeping in, you're putting yourself at a massive disadvantage. Don't know about you guys, but I don't like taking L's first thing in the morning, so I definitely want to get out of bed. My second tip is to stay motivated throughout the day. Motivation is a catalyst for a productive day. A lot of people think motivation is something that you're born with, but I think that's absolute BS. It can be influenced by your environment, but it's not something that you're born with. If you struggle with motivation, I highly recommend you go to the basics and ask yourself two basic questions. Firstly, why am I doing this? And secondly, what will be the consequences of me not achieving my goals? Maybe if you don't achieve your goals, you won't get into the degree that you want, then you won't get the job that you want, then you won't be able to get as much money as you want, and then you won't be able to flex on everyone as much as you want. I would also recommend reading books by influential people and entrepreneurs as well as listening to their podcasts. These are often very motivating and can get anyone motivated in seconds. If you guys are like me and spend a lot of time on YouTube, you guys can use the time effectively to actually motivate yourself. I would recommend watching a lot of day in the live videos of doctors and engineers and as well as other STEM fields. And I would also recommend watching Forbes YouTube channel. Forbes have an awesome playlist called Relentless where they document the lives of entrepreneurs under 30 and how they carry out their day-to-day -day activities. I find it very motivating and so will you. My third tip for a productive day would be to utilize your dead times and breaks throughout the day. Dead time is basically time we all spend doing mindless but necessary things like traveling from A to B. My journey from my flat to my university usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes. Instead of driving to campus with music in the background, I instead put on some lecture notes and review some material as I drive. You can also use your breaks throughout the day to improve your productivity. For example, you can print out some past papers or even lecture slides whilst you're watching TV or eating your lunch. This can save you time later on as you're not going to schedule additional time to do these things. You can then use this time saved to later revise or even sleep. My fourth tip would be to utilize your freeze during the school day. If you have a two hour gap between your lessons, use this time effectively. Don't go fool around with your friends or play Xbox in the common room. Use this time instead to do past papers or review your knowledge or even make some revision materials instead of having a dedicated time to do it at a later time. We have a limited amount of time on this planet and it's important that we spend most of it trying to improve ourselves. During A-levels, I literally ghosted everyone doing my freeze and I just banged out past paper after past paper. Usually I used to be able to get through two past papers before my lesson started, which meant I had more time left over to do other things at a later time. Fifth tip would be to take a quick nap during the day. I think this tip is probably the most slept on. Napping is such a good way of operating at your optimum without using caffeine, so this is really useful if you want to stay productive at night as well. I find that the perfect sweet spot is around one hour of sleep. Any more and you potentially risk destroying your body clock. If you can't sleep, try carrying out a mindfulness exercises as this will achieve the same effect without putting you to sleep. If you find it boring, you might go to sleep, who knows? I will link my favorite YouTube playlist down below as well as the Spotify playlist for those of you on Spotify. My sixth tip would be to change up your study space after a long study session. Changing up your study space after a long study session can help you stay productive for longer as your mind doesn't feel like it's been there for ages. If you're studying in a school, perhaps try switching to a different study location like an unused room. If you're at home, try moving to the dining table from your study table if no one is around. If your school has other libraries around it, try going to one of those. This is a particularly useful technique if you're planning on revising for longer periods of time. My seventh tip would be to study in short bursts rather than attempting long ass study sessions. For me, the sweet spot is about one hour of studying followed by 10 minutes of break. But on average, most people stay focused for about 45 minutes, roughly the same time as a driving test. If you're someone who struggles to stay focused, I would definitely recommend you guys try out the Pomodoro technique. Links will be in the description for what it is, along with all the recommended apps and websites which will help you get the most out of this technique. My eighth tip is to have a clean and organized study space. You don't need a fancy assigned desk or resources to get shit done like the ones that you see online. You just need a clean table and your learning materials within reach. Having a clean and organized workspace can help you get started and stop you from procrastinating or even put you off doing your work. Essentially, you give your desk a good wipe and clean out any bits of paper or mess you might have left from a previous study session. 
My ninth tip is to have a hobby outside of school. Now, this is probably the most obvious one on the list, but you'd be surprised how many people actually neglect this, especially during A-levels. There isn't much substance to this. Basically, you want to be doing things outside of school just to keep your mind off work. This is going to ensure that your mind is well-rested and when you come back, you can tackle the work problem that you previously left with a great efficiency. My last and final tip will be to prepare yourself for the next day the night before. This can involve anything from organising your bag to organising your next day. There again isn't much substance to this. Basically you want to make sure that you don't waste your time in the morning trying to look for things or that you go to the library and realise that you don't have your calculator because you left it on your desk the night before. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It took me a long time to make just because I was running into a lot of problems with the SD card and the camera and stuff and the video corrupting and so on and so forth. If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Ryan's channel as well as click that notification bell down below, which means that you'll be up to date with all the videos that he posts on a regular basis. You guys should also subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting two videos next week and you definitely don't want to be missing those. And if you guys want to see more of me, then you can definitely do that by following me on my social links, which will be on screen right now. And yeah, I hope I see you guys around and who knows, I might come back for a third video, guys.